Okay, dear ones. We're here together. Let's have our meditation. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, 21st, 2021. I'm Reverend Karen Gray of Unity Center, D.C. And I'm going to look at the daily word today. It is joy. The daily word is joy. And I'll read the message. Sometimes I express my spirit of irrepressible joy and let my happiness flow freely with celebration and enthusiasm. My exuberance bursts forth as spontaneous gratitude for life. My heart is filled with the truth that I am a unique expression of divine joy. Other times I express my joy more peacefully. I reflect and meditate upon the gentle sense of well-being in my heart, and I move gracefully through life with greater poise and harmony. I'm grateful for all the quiet ways that I experience the goodness of God. These may be more subtle, but bring me no less joy. I feel the spirit of joy stirring deep within me, extending out to touch those around me as friendliness and compassion. As I share my heart with the good hearts of others, I find my spiritual purpose in joy. And as we begin this meditation, I want to share with you an idea. The idea is, well, it begins with an acknowledgement that we don't always have joy at the uppermost part of our awareness. We don't always smile just spontaneously or quickly. And we don't always even feel like, yeah, I'm living in joy right now. But the, the rest of this idea and the greater part of this idea is that there's always a lot of joy in little reserves throughout our being. And when I think about this, I think about my physical being because it's really easy to conceptualize my, my physical body, but it's not the physical body, of course, it's more like the spiritual body and you can just consider and try and see what works for you. But so this is something I've done before when I was getting ready to give a talk to an audience and I just didn't feel that energy to share but you know we know something we know the truth we know that we are one with god and all that is we know there is one presence and one power this is the truth and when when we meditate together on this we are drawing ourselves closer and closer into the truth the truth that all is one that all is well. Well, speaking of well, this is a very full well of potential for joy. And it's right there for us. We don't have to wonder. We don't even have to hope. We only have to claim. And what I want to offer is this idea to get comfortable just take a nice breath because that's the nice kind of way you like to treat yourself. And if you want to do it the way I do it, start down at the bottom of your physical body or however you conceive of your, you know, full self. And just say to the little pockets of joy, I'm ready for you now and invite them to rise up from your toes, rise up through your legs, you know, and they're heading up here to your brain, your mind, your consciousness, your face, your smile, your eyes, your sparkly eyes, right? That joy is, it's like a sponge that's actually filled, filled, saturated with joy. But it's just that, that this particular corner, or this region around our head <laughs> where we think is currently kind of dried out. So we're going to just call it up from the, the extremities. We're going to be like, 
oh, I know there's some joy that's not being used right now. So we're going to just pull it up, pull it up through the arms, from the fingers, through the hand, through the arms, up through the shoulders. This is ours. You know, we're not even reaching out to get it from elsewhere. It's all there within us already. So this is the joy. I'm like, you know what? I've got some joy I'm not using right now, and I want it. I want it. So I'm going to just like go down to my toes and be like, oh, yeah. For sure, under those purple toenails, there's got to be some joy. So I'm like, Grant, you might not have purple toenails, but there's still joy in there. I know it. So you just like invite it on up, invite it on up, invite it on up, because you're bringing it where? You're bringing it to your higher level of consciousness. Our joy is based in truth. Our joy is the greatest possible joy because it's based in truth. The truth of being a child of God, an expression of God, a favorite of God. We are a beneficiary of God. Everything is provided for us. All wellness, all wealth, all well-being provided for us by God. And that is the truth. And wherever we are, God is. Well, that's really good company. Wherever we are, God is. God is. That is the source of our joy. Our overall joy, when we're having a certain kind of great day, it might get expressed in little minutia like chocolate or gifts or flowers or a fabulous rainstorm or the company of friends, wonderful, wonderful experiences. These are all just the expressions of the joy that is actually who we are. It is the essence of our experience. It is the essence of our existence. And I hope that by now you're feeling some of that joy move up, move through your body up to this head region where we are more aware of it because it's the consciousness of joy that we're inviting today. I think that we all already have and know the fullness, the totality of the joy that's available to us in life. It's complete. And all we're doing right now is inviting it into our uppermost consciousness and saying, oh yeah, when that joy comes up, yeah, there, there's that ready smile. When that joy comes up, there's that lightness in my step. There's that, that better posture where my head is really uplifted. And I only need to reach within myself to little forgotten pockets of joy. And that joy can take on forms like energy, relaxation, peace, confidence. These are all just expressions of joy. These are all ways that joy gets manifested in our experience. If there's one that you're particularly looking for, then, you know, in your mind, just get out a little flag. That's whatever color represents that. Wave it around. Say, this is the one I'm looking for. It's there for you. All we're doing today is finding the untapped joy that we want to have greater access to. We are filled with it. And it might be, if you want to see it as a color, it might be a, a, a vibrant gold or a springy yellow or a soft, cool lavender. Why don't you take a minute and choose a color for you that kind of represents 
all this goodness that you've got inside of you that you want to just bring up to your awareness. Just get really clear, solid on that. I want you to paint yourself in your mind's eye, paint yourself with that color, especially wherever you want it. We find our spiritual purpose in joy. We find our spiritual identity in joy. We find our spiritual truth in joy. So make a mental note that you can call on this at any time. You can call on it five minutes after we end our call. You can call on it tonight before you go to bed. You can call on it later on when somebody's being really annoying. You can always call on this. Thank God you have all these like mini re reservoirs of joy inside you to call on. What a great system. Now take a couple of deep breaths. Deliberate, deep cleansing fortifying because this is just the good way you treat yourself. Nice healthy breaths. And then we will, you know, if you've got your eyes closed, just gently open your eyes, check out your current surroundings, you know, the position of your physical body. We're going to get back into living our day as our physical selves or through with the help of our physical selves. Um, and throughout the day, we'll keep on remembering, I just know we will, that we've got access to all this joy all this love, all this divinity is the essence of who we are. And at least one time today, I'm counting on you to call on me. And with that, I'll say, Amen.